OK, let's see if we can do this question then. Part A. So we've got the square root of 108 and we've got to express it in the form a root 3 where a is an integer. Now having the root 3 inside the square root gives me a clue. It's telling me that 3 must go into the 108. So I'm going to find out how many times 3 goes into 108 by doing a division on the side here. So 3 into 10 goes 3 times with 1 left over and 3 into 18 goes 6 times. So 36 then. So that's telling me that the square root of 108 is going to be exactly the same as 36 times 3. 36 threes, 108. And now I can use a particular rule of thirds, that is that when you get a product of two or more numbers, it's exactly the same as doing the square root of each particular number multiplied together. So this is exactly the same as doing the square root of 36 multiplied by the square root of 3. Now the square root of 36, 36 being a square number, is in the exact value. It's clearly 6. And then we have the square root of 3. Now 3 is a prime number. Can't square root it to give an exact value. It's called a third. So we just leave it as root 3. And we drop the time sign. So we write it as 6 root 3. OK, and this is in the form as they expected uh, us to uh, give it in, and that is a root 3, where a is 6. We don't have to state a, but if we did, it would be 6. OK, so we move on to part b now. And in this one, we're asked to expand the 2 minus root 3, all squared, and give it in the form b plus c root 3 where we've got to find the integers b and c. Okay, so put an equal side, sign I mean, to the right of this expression here. Square it out, that's going to mean that we have two brackets. So we have 2 minus root 3 and another 2 minus root 3. Equals directly underneath 2 times 2 is 4. Then we do 2 times negative root 3, which is minus 2 root 3. And then we have minus root 3 times the 2 here, which is minus 2 root 3. And then we have minus root 3 times another minus root 3, which is going to be a plus answer and it would be 3. There's several ways of looking at that by the way. Some of you might say root 3 times root 3 is the same as the square root of 9 which in turn is 3. Or some of you might see it as root 3 all squared is just simply 3. Okay so put that on the end. Simplify this by gathering up the 4 and the 3. 4 plus 3 is 7 and then minus 2 minus another 2 root 3 is minus 4 root 3. Now because we have to find out the values of b and c I feel that we should put that this is identical then to b plus c root 3 and then comment on what b and c are. So I'm going to say where b equals clearly that 7. Be careful here uh, over the c value. c is not 4 but it is we are we were adding negative 4 so it is negative 4. Okay so hopefully you got that one or understand it now anyway so uh, um, good.